For part one of this section on adding the pinwheel, I'm going to review how to build your own block and um, create a parameter, as well as call it using an argument. Let's get started by going on motion. I'm going to make this a motion block, and I'm going to make a block by clicking on the Make a Block button. Now, I want this to be a command button, and I want it to be called Pinwheel. I also want it to be for all sprites, which is going to be really cool in the second part of the video, or it's the second video. Now, this pinwheel is going to have a parameter. So to add a parameter, I click on this plus symbol after the pinwheel, and I'm going to add a parameter named branches. Now I have a pinwheel with branches. So I'm just going to expand this out just to give me more room to work. And um, we've done this before, so um, and we did this in the lab before, so I'm going to go fairly quickly. This we use a repeat block, and we run a repeat based on the number of branches. So I just grab this, grab that in there, and then I'm going to use a move 100, move. 100 and I'm going to do then I'm going to go backwards then I'm going to turn and I'm going to build that equation again which was that 360 divided by the number of branches so I have to build a block or a build a um, uh, this together Kind of assembling different things which can be tricky so there is my completed pinwheel block so i'm going to go apply because i might want to edit this i might make a mistake i'm going to leave it up and open and then i'm going to go over to my motion or i'm sorry this was a yeah this was a motion block and i'm going to call it so here's the pinwheel here's the parameter it's asking for an argument I'm going to use the classic six and then I'm going to just see how it works by just clicking here and watching it. Well, I've got a problem. I can't see it. I'm going to use this reset, which will hopefully make my um, um, thing, uh, my pen white. It still didn't show up. So I'm going to add this set pen color. I'm going to set my pen color to a yellow and now see if it works. Oh, I still don't see anything. I know what I forgot to do. I forgot to put my pen down. So I'm going to go here, here, and here. There we go. Phew! That was a number of steps to get that to work right. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So um, now I have my pinwheel, and it's working just fine. I can call it um, as many times as I need to. I can change the color if I want to. Works like a charm. 